Good morning, Slicey Dicers. This is Brian with another morning pocket dump for you. I know two days in a row, but I didn't put a video up last night. I am putting up tonight. You're going to see the top 10 100 to $300 knives of 2020. It's a bloodbath. It was very, very, very difficult to decide that one. But let's get going. What was in my pockets today? First up, I want to show this because every time I show it, you guys ask what it is and uh, how you can get one. You can get one right now. I didn't know they were, if for sure if they were going to come back. They announced like a month and a half ago or something like that that they were coming back. This is the Hinder Half Track USA Made Blade exclusive version with the uh, Warncliffe blade. I'm going to link directly down below to their new arrivals page. Uh, you will see quite a few of them on there. So uh, pretty cool to have these back again. This is from the previous run. New ones are unchanged. Uh, 20 CV, 425 bucks. It's a hinderer. They're not inexpensive, but man, this is an awesome freaking knife. Bit unique for a Warney that it's got this kind of up angle on it. But uh, Rick explained in a video that it's, you know, to a lot of put a little bit more power down. It does seem to work. I really like this thing a whole lot. I have definitely used it and carried it quite a bit since I've had it. It's definitely one that I have no intentions of ever selling. Um, and I'm really glad that other people are going to be able to get them. Uh, I think that's just awesome. Probably lowered my resale value a bit, but I don't care. I'm not getting rid of this thing anyway, so uh, pretty cool. And it, yeah, I'm going to link directly down below to their new arrivals page. I just looked just now at, yeah, 6, 10 in the morning. Yeah, I got up early for you guys to do this. And uh, there were at least five or six of them on there. So go check that out. And I do believe there are more coming. I don't think, I don't think this is all they're going to have. So uh, go check that out. Uh, next up, I've, uh, I've been being old school lately. I don't know. Maybe it's because I ditched the the uh, ditch the smartwatch and went to more normal watches and maybe that's what got me to I actually actually carry a notebook around now and actually like write down the night before what I have to do the next day and I got these field notes um they're pretty expensive pretty cool company they do lots of like special edition ones uh, a couple of these came from a viewer which I uh, thank you very much that was very cool art I appreciate that um but they're pretty neat this is the Yosemite one they have a whole bunch of stuff but uh yeah and I just keep you know notes about I do like, there's a bunch of knife stats in here and things like that for notes for reviews. And then also, you know, just my, my list of what I have to get done today. And then on this particular one, you know, you've got some stuff about, you know, Yosemite Park and everything on there. It's kind of cool. And, you know, a little ruler on there. But uh, pretty nice little notebooks. Been carrying these around quite a bit. And uh, the pen is uh, right in the rain from... Uh, from pocket pens with the pocket clip. I still like stuff with pocket clips. Always I'm going to. I don't like pens that just rattle around my pocket. So uh, this one, this one gets carried a lot. And these are really cheap. They're like, what, five bucks a piece or something like that once you buy a bunch. Uh, the watch today, Casio Duro. I, this is one of the most underrated watches ever, I think. Uh, this particular one with the gold on it is the gold tone, uh, it's not real gold, is uh, about 56 bucks. Other versions are even less expensive. I did put an aftermarket strap on it. This is a Barton, I do believe, yeah. yeah. So the strap was like 25 bucks. Strap's almost half the price of the, of the watch, but uh, it's a really great watch. Just a quartz diver, but it is, uh, it is 200 meters, and um, it's, I think it's 200 it's covered up right now by the hour hand. 100 meter, sorry. I'm trying to read it. Yeah, 100 meter. Um, but yeah, 56 bucks, man. Not bad at all. And it's it looks great. I like this gold flashy one. Just a little bit flashy, but not too crazy. It does wear a bit large on my skinny little wrist. But um, people with normal... It's not cooperating. People with normal human wrists will not have a problem with that. So uh, yeah, it's, it's a great watch, though. I do love it a lot. And actually... Uh, um, even though it's inexpensive, look, you still got that engraving on the back, a little marlin, kind of cool. Um, and even though it's pretty expensive, pretty inexpensive, a lot of uh, rich people do wear them. Uh, Bill Gates wears one, one of the richest guys in the world. So if it's good enough for Bill Gates, it's good enough for me. Unless you're one of those, uh, one of those wackadoodles who thinks he's, he's trying to put tracking chips in our bodies, then I guess, uh, <laughs> I guess maybe you don't want it, but I'm not in that camp, so I'm fine with it. Um, I hate Microsoft though, I will say. I hate Microsoft, but still, Bill Gates is rich and he has one, so it's it's kind of it's kind of cool. I think the Pope has one too, or maybe even a cheaper one. I know the Pope wears some kind of Casio. It's either one of these or a, or a less expensive one. But um, anywho, off track. A lot of people wear these. Very popular watch, but I still think it's even underrated with real watch like snobs. But um, if a watch snob notices this, they still think it's kind of cool. So go check one of these out. I'll probably link to the Amazon link down below to this particular uh, gold one because uh, I just think it looks cool. And I like this. I like it with this 
this aftermarket Barton strap. Barton straps are great, by the way, in their quick release. You just got to pull a little pin. But with the gold clasp and the black, I think it looks cool. Yes, I had to put leather on a diver. Alert the church! Um, I, I, I don't care. I don't swim much, so I don't, I don't care that it's got leather on it. And, and that 100-meter water resistance means nothing to me. So <laughs> I don't even wear watches in the shower. So it doesn't, I don't know why I have all these dive watches. They're never going to get dove in, dive, dived, dove in with whatever that verb is. Um, they're just not going to, but yeah, you know, clickable bezel, all that stuff. The loom's pretty good. It's a great watch. Go check one out. So this was a rambly kind of silly morning pocket dump, but uh, I did really want to get out about that these are available. That's the main point of this. Go buy a half track warning from USA Made Blade. They're Great peeps. Always been good to me on the channel. Uh, go check them out. I've been Brian. Have a good one.